Hello everyone, Technosleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We are moving forward with the Geek-tastic series where software is so fantastic that geeks can't help but geek themselves. Did I say geek themselves? That's right. We're geeks. Anyways, today we're going to talk about a media player. You ever find yourself in a situation where your friends or family sent you an audio file or video file? Or maybe you were on a website and you downloaded an audio file or a video file that when you double-clicked on it, Windows told you, do not understand, or I am not sure what the supported format is. Or Windows Media Player popped up and said, sorry, we can't decode this media file type. We only play these certain files. Well, do not fret. VLC Media Player is to the rescue. Now, this is capable of uh, network streaming and all kinds of multicast capabilities, but for the average user, you're probably going to just use it as a media player. This probably isn't going to replace your media center, such as iTunes or Windows Media Player, but it is going to serve a wonderful purpose for being a lightweight media player that will literally play everything you could, well, just about everything you can think of downloading as far as videos and audio is concerned. Now, if you go to my website, scroll down to the bottom right hand corner and it's under free software tools, see this section right here, go ahead and click on VLC Media Player. That's going to take you to CNET download site. As you can see, the reviews on this are also fantastic. Now, when you click on download now, just go ahead and download it to your desktop and let me walk you through the installation here real quick. It's very lightweight. Just double click on the uh, icon after you've installed it, click run. After you've done that, the Media Player setup will come up, click next. Go ahead and agree. Obviously, read the uh, license agreement. I'm obligated to tell you that. Click I agree. And uh, right here, it's just going to ask you for all the standard uh, installations you want. I go ahead and you can install the Mozilla plugin if you use Mozilla Firefox. But uh, I usually like to leave it at the default and click next. Then click install. As soon as you click finish, the software privacy statement will open. And this is asking you basically if you want it to automatically down such as tracks and album art and things like that, or if you want to manually, manually do it yourself. I prefer to do it as soon as the track is added and click OK. And see, notice that this software is actually very lightweight looking. It doesn't have any fancy interfaces. It's very straightforward and it's very, uh, very clean. So there's two ways to open files with VLC Media Player. Just click media and open file like you do any other thing any other piece of software navigate to whatever file you want to open and then just uh, you know just double click on it to open it or on your standard Windows operating system you can navigate to whatever file you downloaded and when you get there as you'll see it's got a little cone next to it saying that it's VLC Media Center associated you can right click on it if it doesn't have the cone and click play with the VLC Media Player which is a nice feature to have if you don't associate all of your files with the VLC Media Player so when I right click on that and click play it'll play it in the Media Player now you'll notice that this software will literally open just about every media file that's in existence it's very lightweight it's very non-intrusive it's free and open source and I do believe, last time I checked, that all of those fulfill the criteria of Geektastic. Thanks for stopping by, everybody, and don't forget to swing by my website, like I said, and uh, you can download it there, bottom right-hand corner, as well as all the other wonderful software tools, all free, of course. And if you're at the PC Michiana YouTube channel, don't forget to leave comments and reviews and ratings, and I'd love to hear from you guys. Any questions or comments you might have? I appreciate the comment from Stagmar on my last video talking about TeamViewer. TeamViewer is a fantastic piece of software and one that I will be going over in the future. And uh, keep those comments coming because the more you talk about fantastic software out there, the more it benefits everyone else. Again, thanks for stopping by.